A Nigerian in America has just created an unbelievable history. Guys, it's a very, very shocking one. I know say South Africa has got things in a juju. Yes. South Africans cannot understand how Nigerians are doing this thing. They cannot understand. They will think that Nigerians are blowing powder. Not be powder. That's who Nigerians are. Eh? Not everybody. Not everybody in the world is chasing them away the way you guys are doing there in South Africa. And the countries that are not chasing Nigerians away are seeing the fruits. Even you South Africans, you are starting to see the benefit. They are already winning gold medal for you. So you people will change whether you like it or not. You will start supporting Nigerians. You will start seeing their greatness in your country. You will, you will eventually see it. There, there's a point, there's a time that will come and you will stop chasing Nigerians away in South Africa because you see how great they are, how great they become. It is what it is. This is a perfect example that I'm about to tell you guys in this video. South Africans, let me remind you, no be juju, no be juju, my guy. So relax and watch and see how he did it. This Nigerian, his name is Kelechi. Kelechi has made history in America. Okay? As, we are, as I'm talking to you now, Kelechi is the newest Navy captain in America. You know it, you know it to be Navy. U.S. Navy. You know what is the U.S. Navy? Just to belong to the U.S. Navy, you're supposed to be okay. I mean, just to belong to the U.S. Navy, you're supposed, you're supposed, you're supposed to hold your body. Your body supposed to be well to belong to the U.S. Navy. But our guy is not just in the U.S. Navy, my guys. This guy is the captain, a captain in the U.S. Navy. The newest captain in America in the U.S. Navy right now. So this guy is the first black person hmm, of African origin. We got the command worship. Hello? As in, when you can say, no, we are, when America say we are entering this country, we are going to do this. This guy now the command. He's a Nigerian. Can let you. It's not like he's a Nigerian born in America, sir. No, no, no. Don't get it twisted. I know some of you now say, eh, he was, he's a Nigerian. He was born in America. He had all the opportunities. So life was easy for him. He could go ahead and become whatever he want to be. Na lie. Na lie. This guy was not born in America. This guy was born in Nigeria. Born in Nigeria. Kelechi. I know some of you know many Nigerians who are called Kelechi. It's like Kelechi is a great name, you know. Kelechi, Anacho, you know. We have many Kelechis that are doing well. But this, this, this Kelechi now, eh, this Kelechi deserves bigger celebration. Bigger, bigger celebration. Kelechi is a captain in the U.S. He's a commander of worship. As, a, as in when they are going out, he is the one to tell the white boys, don't go this way, go this way, don't make a turn. Do what I'm saying. He places a call. If I tell you don't do it, don't do it. So I go to affect Nigeria now. If they if they have an issue with Nigeria now, these are the people that will be in front. You go come use the power to no no. I go tell America say no. Nigeria is my country. I cannot go. I cannot do that in my country. You understand? It's good when Nigerians are having many and many of these people in America. It's good because America is a country that doesn't send anybody. They can decide to invade anybody anytime. They can decide to do any house to any country anytime. But when we have more Africans, more Nigerians who are taking such great positions in the U.S. Navy, in the U.S. Army, in the U.S. military, when we have them in that position like that, it's, a, it's, it's somehow, a, it, it offers us a level of protection in Africa, in Nigeria. It offers Nigeria a level of protection. That means America will be looking at Nigeria with some respect. With some respect. And let me tell you guys, Nigeria immigrants in America are doing incredibly well. Incredibly well. Kelechi is not the first. There are many Nigerians that have been promoted to higher ranks in the U.S. military. In different, different categories. They are extremely doing well. So everywhere Nigerians go, they shine. Everywhere they go, they shine. They boys too, they shine. And that's the problem. That's why many Africans don't like them. And I keep telling Africans, we have to change our ways and start liking them. Because America was like us before. America was like South Africa and other African countries before. Say, we don't want Nigerians. We'll push them out. They are this, they are that. We don't need them. We don't. They were envious. They saw the talents. They saw the potentials. And they were also jealous. They said, no, we have to chase these people out. But eventually they came to understand something. That no, we cannot chase them out. We can only work with them. Because they are too good. Their talent is too good. You cannot write them off. 
If you write them off in medicine, they will come in tech. If you write them off in tech, they will come in the military. If you write them off in the military, they will come with their own entertainment and take over America. If you write them off in entertainment, they will come with their movies and take over America. If you write them off in movies, they will come with their own businesses and become entrepreneurs and take over America. So one way or the other, they will still manage to find a way to step it up. America gave up. UK gave up. That's why today we have ministers in the UK who are Nigerians. Parliamentarians in the UK who are Nigerians. Parliamentarians in America, Nigerians. Governors, mayors across, Niger uh, across America who are Nigerians, my guys. So you cannot. Africa, we need, to, we need to accept the truth. The highest people that need to accept that truth now is South Africans. You understand? Like I said, South Africa, no be juju. This is who Nigerians are. Some of you will be like, why can't they be doing it home? They are doing it. There are Nigerians who are doing it for Nigeria in their country. And there are Nigerians who are doing it in America. And there are Nigerians who are doing it in Europe. And there are Nigerians who are doing it in South Africa. As we are talking right now, there are Nigerians who are doing it everywhere. So they are not, Nigerians are not only doing it out of their country. They are doing it well in their country as well. Because in Africa, the biggest entrepreneurs are Nigerians. The most successful entrepreneurs are Nigerians. The most successful musicians are Nigerians. The biggest footballers on the continent now are Nigerians. So there's no rivalry anywhere. Back home in Africa and in the diaspora, Nigerians are making history. They are winning. They are winning. The population is too much. So some have to go and win elsewhere. Everybody cannot win in Nigeria. Everybody cannot win in Nigeria. That is just the simple truth. Whether you like it or not. So I don't want to hear you say, eh, if, it's, if, it was, if it was good, why can't they be doing it in their country? They are doing. They, they do a... Um, they, they do a... Um. <laughs> so South Africans, no be juju, as I tell the tell now like this, it's hard work. That's who they are. They are meant to win. They are meant to triumph. They know how to win. They know how to triumph. They know how to be the best in the world. And nobody can stop them. So South Africans, you people have to respect them, bow for them, give them their rightful place because they deserve it. Come on. Congratulations to Kelechi and his family. Guys, just the command US who no con carry the con Nigeria or can't do any how. Nigeria is your country. That's where you were born. So make sure that you let them know. Make sure that the respect for Nigeria is there. It is what it is. Your boy Ajay Max on this one again. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell, and come back anytime you're free, guys, because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheese.